Welcome to PVTV International. I'm going to present this week editions of our news roundup. Cabinet News NUT Adding President Issue Statement on Bodish Man's Debt. On June 27, the Adding President of the NUT issued a statement regarding the abbot of Winne Meitayo Monastery in Bagor region, who is also a retired member of the State Sangha Nayaka Committee, to express his regret that he had passed away and that of all those involved in spreading false information about this incident would be held accountable. Sayaro Badana Munenda Biwanda was killed on June 19 on the Ngasuim Nyoda Road in Mandali region by the terrorist military council. The statement emphasized that this is a great loss of a religious martyr who dedicated his life to his fate, making the loss even more devastating. The actions of the terrorist military council, which dealt to intentionally kill even monk, is an insult to of the Buddhism and is strongly condemned, said the adding president message. NUG Prime Minister discusses revolutionary progress and challenges. Prime Minister Mawen Kaidan of the National Unity Government stated that at the Central Committee for Interim Implementations of Public Administration meeting on June 27 that there have been many achievements despite the challenges during the revolutionary period. The Prime Minister acknowledged that due to the constraint of the revolutionary period, progress has been limited by cooperation issues hierarchical command structures, manpower shortages, financial constraints, and organizational weaknesses. However, significant development have been made in administrative work, public services, public protection, assistance to war refugees, and education and health sectors during this time. He further emphasized the importance of judicial activities, highlighting the need for more legal officers and judges to address the numerous cases and drudge problems on the ground. Strengthening law enforcement agencies also a priority. NUG Ministry of Human Rights documents 275 cases of torture. The National Unity Government Ministry of Human Rights announced on June 26 the International Day in support of victims of torture that they have documented 275 cases of human rights violation related to torture. This effort is part of a strategic initiative to record and address such abuses. Torture is severe human rights violation involves someone intentionally inflicting severe emotional, physical or sexual pain and suffering. During the current armed conflict in Myanmar, more serious violations are being committed. In this situation, it is necessary to provide the necessary support and justice to the victims, the ministry stated. Relevant ministry of the National Unity Government are working to support those who have suffered from torture and various human rights violations, aiming to protect and bring justice to the victims. Ministry of Defense, NUG Ministry of Defense reports successful operations in Northern Shan State and Mandalay region. The Ministry of Defense of the National Unity Government announced on June 27 that the People's Defense Force, along with various battalions and units, is engaged in balanced military operations under Operation 1027, which resulted on June 25. These forces are achieving continuous victories in Northern Shan State and Mandalay region. The operations involve the People's Defense Army Mandalay, Mughal Strategic Battalion 121, 1222, 1223, 1224, Number 513 Battalion, Jiangmen District Special Attack Force, Diaulun District BDF, Mughal Township BDF, and Media Township BDF. They are fighting alongside Aligned Ethnic Resistance Group on Jiangmen, Nanto, Mughal, and Media Front. In this operation, they have successfully captured Nanto, Light Infantry Battalion LIB-115, Bandalay Dao, Zhaojian Dao, and Yezhou Dao military camps, and Masai Battalion 606 in Media Township. Revolution forces are continuing their offensive to complete the occupations of the terrorist military bases, housing LIB-114 and the 1014 Air Defense Force in Jinnai. Additionally, revolutionary forces, in cooperation with Alliance, are working to occupy the cities of Mogo and Zhangmei, capturing most of the enemy's military bases and achieving continuous victories. 
Ministry of Human Rights, Union Minister Wang Myomin discusses terrorist attacks with U.S. State Department official. On June 22nd, Union Minister Wang Myomin of the National Unity Government met with Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights and Labor Mr. Robert S. Gelkris at the U.S. State Department to discuss the terrorist military council attacks targeting civilians. During the meeting, the Union Minister highlighted the current human rights situations in Myanmar with a focus on worsening airstrike, especially in Rakhine State, and the targeted terrorist attack on civilians by the terrorist military council. They also discussed increasing measures, including stronger and more cooperative economic arms and burgos against international crimes committed by the terrorist military council. Additionally, they address providing the right assistance to the new generations of young people fleeing systematic human rights and humanitarian crimes, as well as those escaping forced military service. The U.S. State Department pledged to stand with the Burmese people, promising to take more effective measures and provide necessary support. Ministry of Foreign Affairs, NUG delegation holds series of meetings with Timor-Leste cabinet. A delegation led by National Unity Government, Union Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dozen Mao, and Union Minister for Education and Health, Dauda Zoweso, held a series of meetings with the cabinet of Timor-Leste on June 18, 20, 21, and 24. They met with the President of the Democratic Republic of Timor-Leste, H.E. Mr. Joseph Ramos Horadar, Deputy Prime Minister H.E. Mr. Mariano Assesmi Sabino, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation H.E. Mr. Bandido Dos Santos Fetis, Minister of Education H.E. Mrs. Judy Jesus Soros, Ministry of Health H.E. Mrs. Elia A.A. Dos Risi Amara, and Deputy Minister of Health H.E. Dauda Flavio Brandio. These discussions cover Myanmar issues, cooperations between Myanmar and Timor Leste, and the success of the Federal Democratic People's Revolution. NUG suspends Sly Isaac King, representative to India, pending internet investigation. On June 25, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the National Unity Government announced an internet investigation and subsequent action regarding a complaint concerning Sly Isaac King, the NUG representative to India. The ministry confirmed that Sly Isaac King has been suspended from duty pending an internet hearing. Additionally, the internet investigation report and relevant documents have been forwarded to the Central Committee for the Implementation of Policies on Protection from Sexual Harassment, Exploitation and Sexual Violence. The Ministry assures full cooperation with the committee's proceedings. Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management National Unity Government provides 139,057 USD in humanitarian aid amidst Myanmar crisis. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management of the National Unity Government announced on June 27 that more than 486.7 million jets, approximately 139,057 USD, at an exchange rate of 1 USD is equivalent to 3,500 jets in humanitarian aid was provided in May. In May 2024, the aid included 345.2 million jats and 98,629 USD for emergency food distributed to 171,302 displaced persons and additional 43.9 million jats, 12,543 USD was allocated as emergency humanitarian aid for 238 fallen heroes and 335 injured individuals. 7.4 million jets, 2,114 USD was provided as emergency humanitarian aid for employees associated with the civil disobedience movement CDM. The breakdown also included 0.4 million jets, 114 USD for emergency humanitarian assistance to political prisoners and their families, and 3.2 million jets, 914 USD for those affected by natural disaster. Furthermore, 86.6 million jats, 24,743 USD was dispatched as general humanitarian aid, which included the construction of temporary shelters for 132 households and 419 turbulent shelters for displaced individuals in need of shelter during the rainy season. 
Ministry of Education, NUT Ministry of Education announces second round of university admissions. The National Unity Government Ministry of Education announced on 27 that 20 intermediate universities are now accepting applications for the second round of university admissions covering 59 subjects and academic fields. In October 2023, the first round of admissions included 16 intermediate universities. The decision to launch a second round reflects ongoing efforts to expand educational opportunity across Myanmar. NUD designate three online and 344 ground school as interim basic education public school. The Ministry of Education of the National Unity Government announced on 27 that it has recognized three online school and 344 ground school as interim basic education public school. This school, which apply for recognition, have been verified to meet 11 public education school accreditation policy and information technology security guidelines. The initiative aims to secure that students who have lost access to education can continue their study. The ministry continue to work to connect this study with both public education school and online alternative to facilitate their educational continuity. Military Affairs Summary for the fourth week of June 2024 During the fourth week of June 2024, the National Unity Government's Ministry of Defense announced the commencement of Operation Shaman in the Mogo, Medea and Singhai areas of Northern Shan State and Mandalay region. Troops and battalions from the People Defense Force PDF are engaged in this operation in a penetrating Mandalay region. They have successfully captured several terrorist military council bases, including Pandale Town, Chaojian Town, and Yezhou Town in Media Township. Additionally, positions held by the military council, Light Infantry Battalion 115 and Mazai Battalion 606, have been secured. Simultaneously, Operation 127 Part 2 has seen PDF and ethnic revolutionary groups launch attack on towns like Mogo, Chaume and Nancho. The fighting has extended to areas within 15 miles of Pyongyang, where the military council defense services academy is located, resulting in a shrinking area of military council control. In Chaume Township, 17 soldiers surrender with various weapons to the Ta'ao National Liberation Army TNLA. The TNLA reported seizing more than 380 weapons during the captures of military council LIB-115 in Nancho and about 500 enemy weapons between June 24 fit and 28. Operation 1027, Part 2 and Shamar are expected to block and attack the military council Northeastern Command headquarters in Lashu and Pyongyang, as well as enhanced revolutionary operations around Mandalay, Myanmar's second largest city. In Upper Sagai, revolutionary forces successfully capture a military council camp in Nanda village near Indo town, resulting in 14 military council soldiers, including Captain Pyong Ma Mao of LIB 6, being killed in actions and 20 weapon seats, according to BDF Military Region 1. In Chongla Township, two prisoners of war and eight weapons were obtained during an attack on a military council's column. Allied forces also reported two enemy soldiers killed during attacks on military council camps in Budalin town. The coordinated military activity across northern Shan State, Mandalay region, and Upper Zaga region demonstrate a robust offensive by the revolutionaries in the final week of June. Let's see what do we have for our weekly roundup news in coming weeks. Thanks for watching PVTV International.